hi everyone welcome back to our channel in this video we are going to show you how to properly disable lazy load in wordpress while lazy load loading can improve your site speed and performance it may not always be the best option for every site so let's get started the first step is to check whether lazy load is enabled on your site to do this you can open up a web page and uh, right click on the page and click on inspect so find out loading is equal to lazy and check this image path and after that here is loading is equal to lazy so its main lazy load is enabled so let's go to dashboard and uh, and close this tab after that go to plugins and click on add new and search here wp port install that plugin we will add php code snippet in this through this plugin go to that plugin and uh, click on add new snippet after that click on custom and name that snippet lazy load and uh, select the core type is php so write that code here i will paste that code in description you can copy that code okay click on active and click on save snippet after that let's check it on next tab if our code is working or not just click right click on any image and uh, go to developer tools click on inspect and find out okay so here is no loading is equal to lazy displaying so its main our code is working so this was first way with with code but uh, we can also use the dedicated plugin for this purpose so let's uninstall this plugin and delete it so let's check if the lazy load is enabled now or not so refresh that way and right click go to developer tool and inspect after that so here is loading is equal to lazy so it's mean lazy load is enabled again so let's install that plugin which i am talking about so plugin name is disable lazy load and uh, install that plugin activate it so after that reload this page and go to developer tool and inspect okay so find out so loading is equal to lazy is not displaying its main our plugin is working and that's it you have successfully disabled lazy load in wordpress remember while lazy loading can be beneficial for site performance it may not always be the best choice for your site 
by following these steps we have provided you can make sure that your site is optimized for the best user experience thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video